All right, guys, we got a short week coming up because you guys know it's Thanksgiving, so we're trying to really get as much done as we can in the earlier uh, days of this week here. That way we can uh, have a nice Thanksgiving and uh, you guys can too. So we're shooting a Tesla in the booth now and we have another trunk and uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about that with the uh, PPG. So I don't know if you guys know that PPG is who Tesla uses at the factory for their colors. So I've been having good luck with the color match and uh, they got a, quite a few variants, but uh, I've been able to get really nice color matches on these uh, Teslas. So we're shooting one today. All right, so this is the one we're shooting here and this is the uh, blue. This is my favorite color that they have from Tesla and it's a real pretty vivid blue metallic. So I like this one a lot. And uh, we're also gonna be shooting this here trunk. This is the one we're gonna be panel painting. So Tesla only has five colors in their lineup for their cars. So they only have a black, they have a pearl white, they have a red metallic, and then they have two blues. They have this one here, and they have more of a grayish with a pearl on it, like a purple pearl. So there's only five colors, which is good because once you get the colors dialed in, you'll be able to just roll right away with uh, what, what you know you're used to using. So I got quite a few of the colors, you know, checked out and uh, I use these colors all the time now. So I'm getting really familiar with them and I'm glad that I have PPG because they're the ones that Tesla uses at the factory. So let's go ahead and get these things shot. And we're gonna put a little bit of rock guard down here at the bottom of this Tesla because it needs it down there. And we put a quarter door, trunk, and uh, a little bit of blending on both of these parts here. So let's get into it. All right, so that was the rock guard and I'm using a new product here. This is a new product from 3M and it's kind of exactly like the one they used to have in the pouch with the 3M gun. I think they're discontinuing that product and they're now using this. So this is good. It acts exactly like the other one does. This one here, you gotta, it has to dry 30 to 90 minutes before you can top coat depending on the temperature. So we're gonna turn the heat up in the booth and let that stuff kick off before we go ahead and seal it. So let's go ahead and uh, let it dry a minute and then we'll be in there sealing it. All right, so I was showing you guys the seam sealer on this job here where the quarter panel was welded on and uh, we try to duplicate the factory look. That way once it's painted, it all looks like nothing ever was done to it. So I'm privileged to work with a bunch of good body men at this shop, so we try to do the extra mile and we think of each other when we're doing our jobs. That way we both can help each other out. So definitely did a nice job on this one. All the welds are clean. The back sides, they grind them. That way I can cut in the inside and they just do really nice quality work. So I'm privileged to work with these guys. So we're gonna go ahead and base this one out and uh, we'll be moving into the uh, clear coat after that. So let's go ahead and finish it up.
All right, I was talking to you guys earlier about the base coat that uh, PPG makes for Tesla. And years back, I was spraying a different line and I was talking to the rep and he was telling me how it worked. He said that the manufacturer will put out different colors they're interested in for all the paint lines and then they'll decide on who they want to use for their uh, line of cars. So that's what happens where the uh, company that makes the color will have a better match because they're the one that actually made that color up and then all the other lines will try to duplicate that color off of their chips. So that's just what I was told years ago about how they do it in the uh, paint world. So we're gonna get this thing cleared up and I'll show it to you guys done. All right, so the job came out nice. That's my favorite Tesla color. The seam sealer, the rock guard, and everything looked factory, and uh, I was pretty happy with it. So that one there we cleared with the DV1 with the C1 cap, and we based it with the 3M Performance gun with the 1-2. So we put two good coats of clear of the 2021, and that job came out really nice. So I hope you guys liked my uh, favorite blue on the Teslas and uh, we'll see you later in the week on the next video.